So the packages now. Um, I'm going to carry on as the user. I think I can be here. I oh, know as root. It says it actually tells us here. So we're going to download the source files now. These source files have all the um, each individual package has all the source code for all the software that we're going to compile. So first thing is, I'm just going to echo LFS. You can't do this too often. If LFS is not set and you use it, there is a very real risk at certain points that you could either put things where you don't want them to go, or worse still, you could actually delete stuff off your system. So it's really important um, that you ensure that you know that for sure that LFS is set, the variable is set. So you'll see me do it regularly to make sure that it is set. Because like I say, if it's not set, it defaults to blank. Um, you'd imagine if I did this command here and LFS wasn't set, it would try to delete a directory in the root called sources. And if you did have a directory called sources in the root, then it would delete it. So it is really important. Um, so let's look at that partition before we do anything else. Um, slash well let me do yet yeah, let me use lfs there it is there it's empty it's got a lost and found directory because it's a brand new partition we formatted with the ext4 file system um, if i look at the directory properties itself you can see it's got root ownership and you can see it's just just been created a short while ago so i'll create this sources directory again if I now look at that directory you can see it's gone in the right place where I'd expect it to go so that's a good little check to make sure that the LFS um, variable is working correctly and I can do it explicitly and you can see it looks the same it's got the same information in it we then run a command to change the permissions on that sources directory to make it sticky so it means only the owner can delete the files that are in there but other users can still access still have read access to the files so now we're going to delete those files I'm actually you don't actually need to do it for this bit but what I'm going to do is download a list of the files and I like to keep that with the sources so I'm going to change into the LFS hierarchy and then into the sources hierarchy I'm going to fetch this list um, sorry which I need to use wget for and you can see it's downloaded this file called wget list if I show you that file all it is is um, a list of URLs for all the packages that need to be downloaded and obtained um, to allow us to build Linux from scratch They've also kindly given us a command here to operate on that file. So it's a steering file that we just downloaded. And it'll use the links in that steering file. It'll go through each one, download what it finds in there. Um, and just move on to the next one. And then when it's done, uh, they've got some commands here to verify that the files we've downloaded are actually what they say they are. So this will take a few minutes to download, I'll just wait for that to finish and we'll come back and do the verifications.
Okay, so those files have now downloaded. What I'm going to do now is to use wget to get another steering file which has got um, a list of the MD5 checksums for each of those files that we've downloaded. And we can use these commands here to run the check automatically. And you can see that I've not received any error messages at the end of that. And I can just verify that by going through and just checking each of these. You can see there's an OK next to each file. So there's thing, two things to note here. There's no file not found messages, which would indicate that the download didn't occur correctly. And there's no messages stating that the checksum didn't match, which would indicate there's either some corruption or a uh, file has been tampered with, or maybe the website's been moved and we've just got a you know file not found or you know website not found message. So that looks all good. That tells me that we've now downloaded everything that's needed to um, build Linux from scratch, 11.1. So the next bit's uh, description, or not description so much as uh, the metadata, if you like, about each package, the home page, the download link, as well as the signature for each package. The next page has got a list of all the required packages, uh, sorry, patches. Uh, they're downloaded as well. You can see in green on the left-hand side. Uh, on the right hand side, sorry, I do a listing of all files called patch. You can see there's one, two, three, four, nine patches there, and we've got nine files here, so that's everything that's needed.